How to add rectangle in Adobe Premiere Pro. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. This is going to be a really quick one. I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually add shapes to your video sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro and specifically more a rectangle. So let us jump straight in. The first thing you want to do is have a video open so you have a sequence over here and as you can see if I push play this is what my sequence looks like. So right now yes it is just an image how you can add shapes such as a rectangle over an image you can also add it over a video and then you can also add it over perhaps text if you would like to do so this is how you go about it on your toolbar over here as you can see you have a few tools you're going to go down and you're going to look for the rectangle tool now if you click on that you will be able to go over to your sequence and you will be able to add a rectangle so let us go ahead and let us add a rectangle over here on your left hand side you'll see an effects control panel and right over here it shows you exactly what is selected right now in gray and it says shape and it is named shape one so next to the eyeball icon there is an arrow you can click on that and here you can define everything about the actual shape itself so let's say perhaps we want to keep the color full exactly as it is we now have it selected as full and we can now change the color right over here so we're going to make it a bright green you can go ahead and then tap on ok and you can see that it has changed color let's say perhaps that we would like to in fact have a stroke around the green so we can now see that the stroke is at four points if you hold your cursor over that number and you drag your cursor over to the right that number will increase and so will the size of that stroke or in other words a border now let's say perhaps we would like to change the color we can go ahead tap on the color box and you can now change it to whatever color it is that you want and click on OK. The next thing you want to maybe do over here is unselect the fill and that means that it will not be filled and it will just be a border of a rectangle. You can now again change the properties of that border in terms of the size as well as the color. If you're going down now you can also see that you can add a shadow so if you click on that there is now a shadow in on the rectangle you can now change that color of the shadows let's say now that we would like to change the opacity we can do so by using this top tool over here we can also change the angle and then there is an offset so if you click down here you can actually change the offset of the shadow and you can see over here now that it has moved from the center of the rectangle offset to the right and to the bottom you can now also change the intensity of it so that is obviously much larger or you can just have it the original size you can now also mask with this shape so if you want to you can have the shape and you can overlay it and you can see the video or the image behind the shape in your video sequence and there you go with all the options you can really play around with and you can create the rectangle in your video sequence and you can really define it to the way that you specifically want i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section below we'll see you in another awesome video cheers for now